Yeah, it was approximately 1988, 1989. I'm living in San Antonio, Texas with my beautiful wife, Kimberly, and I have a, my beautiful daughter, Lauren, was on her way, and I was the canvas manager for Housecraft Service Company. Housecraft was the largest, most successful Alcoa uh, vinyl siding and aluminum trim contractor, one of the most successful in the country. Certainly at the time, they were the most successful in Texas. And as a canvas manager, it's my responsibility. I showed up at that office every day at 3 p.m. I met all the canvassers, they came in, We'd go over, we called them callbacks if they talked to the husband or wife the day before. And we'd ship those to the phone room in Houston and then we'd hop in the van because the owner of the company, Pat DiNicola, who was really brilliant and he really hired super high quality at the executive level in the company, part of what made it so successful in addition to the fact that they had perfected the one call close business. And... Uh, so we had a van that we would roll out into the neighborhood in. Uh, we had uniforms, logo shirts, hats. Uh, we had red. We looked like a softball team, for goodness sakes. Except we had clipboards and a pen, and we'd have fun. And, you know, the holidays would roll around. Half of us would wear Santa hats and all that stuff. But the most important thing was we stuck to the pitch. And what that meant was that in the process of when they, we engaged a homeowner when they came to the door, and we would want to draw them out and get them talking about and looking at their home. And But every time, no matter when we did this, you're always going to tell the homeowner who you are, what you do, how you do it, what's in it for them. As a result of that, we were very successful. The closers loved the canvas leads more than any other leads because – they were next to somebody picking up the phone and calling in out of the Yellow Pages app. They were the warmest leads that they could get because the people had been eyeball to eyeball with a professional canvas. I'll never forget one time the uh, homeowner told the salesman that the only reason that, that people knocked his door all the time, but he never set an appointment with anyone because of what the people looked like that were knocking on the door. So no doubt, you know, you never, we all know you never get a second chance to make a first impression. So be sure to always be professional, uh, be enthusiastic, have a smile, uh, and sing the song. You know, door knocking, canvassing really is show business. And if you can't get excited about what you're doing, improving people's homes, you're not gonna have much success making them really excited about it too. So do you and the homeowner a favor. Get excited about what you do. It's incredible. We change people's lives. They, you know, they'll re renew the pride in their home. Have a great day. Thanks for listening.